Maybe later. We'll see. But we are going to watch Insert Coins again. Uh, his opponent, his name slips my mind, but we watched him play a little bit earlier. I can't quite remember what character he used, but um, we're going to find out. Alright, so I'm assuming we're going to see Lars again from Insert Coins, and we have Law. Was this the same Law player from earlier? That yeah. did the crazy stuff? Oh, the backswing blow guy. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Okay. Alright, so based on the information I've gathered from this guy, he's pretty new. He's kind of whack. So we're going to see... I think it's going to be a beatdown, probably, because, I mean, Insert Coins knows what he's doing, and he's just got a more complete game here. But you never know. Sometimes, is this the same guy? I don't know. It's hard yeah, to it tell. Yeah, it is. J. Brock Pony. Here we okay, go. Okay, yeah, that is him. Okay, wall carry. Shoulder. Wow, big damage. Can can. Let's see what he's got. I'm rooting for a two player. I'm always rooting for the guy that doesn't. Underdog, like right? Yeah. Oh yeah, that too. I'm always rooting for the underdog. And this is definitely an underdog situation. Water girls here. Mm hmm. All right, here's the follow-up. Oh, man, we got to be very careful this situation, man. You know, I don't know. This is a health hazard, I think, but we're near a volcano. <laughs> yeah, carbon, carbon monoxide, monoxide or whatever the hell it is. Yeah. Backswing gets counter hit. You have to think about the ozone there. Oh, no. okay, good punish there. Is Able to get, so you get either Arc Blast or Down forward 2 1. Down forward 2 1 is a natural combo. Mm -hmm. Put some automatically into the true state. I mean, if you really wanted to optimize it, though, it probably would have been better to do Arc Blast. Yeah. Ooh. Have they talked about in the lore what mountain this is? Uh, but there are volcanoes in Japan, right? I wonder if this is the same volcano that uh, Heihachi threw Jin out. Down. Is, well, is that a real volcano? Uh, there are, know. right? Active there, volcanoes? There's, there's, there's Mount Fuji in Japan. So, who knows? This is like no a longer, real No location. longer an active volcano, though, I don't oh, think. Oh, okay. Counter hit. Yeah, my volcano. I've been way outside of the volcano scene for years. Yeah, I retired years ago. The, uh, v, uh, <laughs> the VC, yeah, the volcano gaming community or yeah. whatever. <laughs> they love this uh, this stage. Nice. No, Ooh, duck. no duck on that. Three hits. Insert coins kind of on autopilot now. Nice lightning screw for a whiff punish. I like seeing that. You can tell he definitely did his homework. Able to do a lot of the new combos that Lars has available. Yeah. Okay, yeah. nice work. Looking great. I like the new Lars costume. I really? hope they, yeah, I like it. It seems a bit too uh, flamboyant. Wall, wall scroll for you. Well, I mean, yeah, it's kind of wall scrolly. I like it though. The uh, Power Rangers thing. I like it because I feel like they really nerfed him a lot. So I kind of like want to have a positive attitude about Lars. I don't know. I like that. You, we have to remain positive. Yeah, he right. got nerfed a ton. He did. I mean, uh, uh, I think a lot of the nerfs also. Um, it puts players in a situation like you might as well use this character instead. Yeah, uh, yeah. People are abandoning him like crazy. The system nerfed him because of no bound, and they nerfed a lot of his yeah. good tools. I actually think he's still pretty good. If you think about it, he still has a 14 frame launcher, or is it 14? So the four, four back, back to one. one that's yeah. 14. Yeah. Yeah. It's still pretty good. I mean, it, yeah. There's not a lot of characters that can have that. And he still has lightning screw, and he still has a great uh, 12 frame punish, and he still has uh, a four four. Yeah, Orbital, we just saw it right there. He's doing requests. Yep, and he also does uh, counter hit forward forward 1 plus 2, which is such a great tool, I think. I have a feeling they gave him some stuff in FR, because in this game, he just feels like he's a little bit too nerfed. So, we'll see. And one of the things I think is great is, like, this whole age of discovery, because, yeah. uh, you know, the second team, they traditionally don't put patch notes out or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So it's up to the players to figure out what's new, what's different. So we're going to be in that, that era again. Orbital. In, in oh, yeah. Soon. As soon as I find out that they gave King, uh, Armor King's God Fist, I'm going to be in it. You know what would be super crazy, and potentially it is possible, what if when they finally announce the release date, it's something like January 12th? Uh. It could be, it could be, right? And it yeah. would make the wait so much better, right? It could be something really it early. Is, it's a Christmas miracle. Right. It, I don't know. Or January 2nd or something. You oh. never know. You oh. never know. 
It is early, early 2017. Yeah, it could be. That would be sweet. Well, in order to capitalize on that kind of excitement, one would be inclined to pre-order the game and support the title, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I hope so. Well, are you saying like people should do that? Is that what you're saying? Because I think it always helps once uh, retailers, like the way that a lot of business works. So if retailers get higher 